Good morning. I'm Tatiana Gorbachova. I'm going to speak about MRI of bone marrow. It may seem that we have this oncology tumor session this morning. However, I must say that the imaging of bone marrow is the universal topic for musculoskeletal MRI in general, because marrow is the canvas, according to Dr. Resnick, um, upon which the diseases paint themselves. So we must really understand the canvas so we understand the pathological processes. Um, on a less poetic note, I'm going to just show you this case, and this is the essence of this talk. When you have a funny marrow lesion on musculoskeletal MRI, the questions that we aim to answer is, what sequence is most valuable? Is this a tumor or not? And how certain we are? Are we going to say something and then still say correlate with biopsy if necessary. Um, we're going to play it safe. Um, and I personally prefer to err on the side of being right and definitive. So we try to achieve that goal today. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to review bone marrow normal and abnormal. And it has two key features. Number one, it's composition that an MRI translates into the signal intensity. And that's the bigger chunk of our talk, of my talk for this morning. And the second parameter is distribution. So let's get started. Composition wise, let's look at the histology of red marrow and fatty marrow. Well, Fatty marrow is mostly fatty. It has 80% of fat, and that's why it has its name. However, look at this big fat 40% of red marrow. I think the proper title should have been low fat marrow rather than red marrow. And believe it or not, we base almost entire concept of bone marrow interpretation on MRI on this percentage because Water also has 40%, and we're going to look into the tracia and see how it's going to help us understanding what's 